In this demo, you will learn how to edit a redistricting plan. You will learn how to make assignments using one-stage and two-stage assignment methods, monitor demographics, use the district statistics table to balance district distribution, lock geographies, and navigate the map. Let's get started. First, let's start by adding demographics to monitor. On the Create ribbon, click the Demographics button. The Demographics dialog box appears. You will see Demographic fields, the demographic set from which the fields come from, a sum column, a percent column, and an ideal value. Click to select the demographics you want to monitor. Once you have made your selection, click Close. Next, let's open the District Statistics dialog. On the Create ribbon, click Districts. On the District Statistics dialog box, you can change the number of districts in your redistricting plan, view the target mean as guidance for district population, and rename districts. You can also see the demographics that you turned on visible in the District Statistics dialog box. Click on District 1 in the Statistics window to make it the active district. There are two assignment methods you will learn in this demonstration, one-stage and two-stage assignments. First, let's look at one-stage assignments. One-stage assignment is a method that lets you assign geographies to districts as you make geography selections. Verify that you are in one-stage mode. This can be done in two ways. On the Create ribbon, ensure the light bulb is turned off. Alternately, right-click the map to verify you are in one-stage assignment mode. In the context menu, you should see two-stage assignments listed. Click the Select Geographies by Rectangle button to make it the active assignment tool. Drag a rectangle around an area of interest to assign selected counties to District 1. Repeat the process for the remaining districts. One-stage assignment is a simple way to assign geographies to districts as you make the geography selection. Next, let's look at two-stage assignments. Two-stage assignment mode lets you view the impact of your selection before you commit to a district assignment. Let's change to two-stage mode. On the Create ribbon, click the light bulb. When the light bulb is turned on, you are in two-stage assignment mode. You can also verify you're in two-stage mode by right-clicking the map. The context menu should display one stage assignments. Click a district in the district statistics dialog box to make it the active district. Drag a rectangle around an area of interest to make your selection. The selected geographies are highlighted on the map. On the district statistics dialog box, click the proposed tab. On the proposed tab, you can see the districts that are affected by the district assignment. Two stage assignment tools are also enabled. The two-stage assignment tools include Clear Selections, Assign Selections, and Zoom to Selections. The same options are also listed in a context menu. Right-click the map to view the context menu. In this case, I'll assume that the selections are satisfactory, so I'll click Assign Selections. As you can see, the selected geographies are assigned. In this example, you can see that two-stage assignment mode lets you view the impact of assignments before you commit any changes. Next, let's take a look at a concept called locking. I can lock a district so that the district will not change while I make additional assignments. On the District Statistics window, click Lock next to the district you want to lock. The crosshatch on the map shows that District 2 is locked. In this example, let's make District 3 the active district. Using the Select Geographies by Rectangle tool, I'll draw a box around both locked and unlocked geographies. As you can see, the locked district stays intact. Let's undo the assignment using the Undo tool. Uncheck the lock option on the district statistics dialog box. The concept of locking also applies at the geography level. Click Lock Geography. 
Click a geography on the map that you want to log. In this example, I'll select an active district from the district statistics dialog. Using the selection tool, I'll draw a box on the map to select geographies. The selection is assigned to the active district, with the exception of the logged geography. Using the Undo tool, let's undo the assignment. Using the Unlock Geography tool, you can unlock individual geographies that are locked. Let's take a look at Selection Level. The Geography Selection Level defines the geography type used in Selections, Assignments, and Locking. When the Selection Level is set to Automatic, the Geography Level is based on the map scale. You can enforce a specific selection by using the drop-down menu. In this example, you can see the plan's hierarchy level is County, Tract, Block Group, and Block. Here we have the selection level set to Automatic. Based on the map scale, the geography selection level is County. As we zoom in on the map, the selection level updates based on the map scale. Next, let's use the Zoom In tool to zoom in on the map. As you can see, the selection level has changed. In this example, you can make assignments at the block group level. As you zoom in, you can make assignments at each geography level supported by the redistricting plan. In this demonstration, you learn the process for editing using one-stage and two-stage assignments, adding demographics to monitor, viewing the district statistics table, locking, and map navigation. Mm -hmm.